Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshit Dej. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present Day 28th of June Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today is minimum deletions to make character frequency unique. It's a medium level question on Lead Code and I also feel the same. Without further ado, let's quickly try and understand the question. Here we are given a string and it is said to be a good string if there are no two different characters in S that have the same frequency. What do we need to do? We need to identify the minimum number of characters that you need to delete to, to make the string good in nature. For example, here uh, the input string that is given to us is double AB. The frequency of A is 2, the frequency of B is 1. Since both the frequencies are different, that means they are unique and no deletion is needed. It's already a good string. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have three A's, three B's and two C's. Therefore, there is a conflict between the frequency of A and B. We have to make some deletions in order to make them unique in nature. And what those deletions could be? Either you can delete both the B's, one way is to delete both the B's up and the other way is to delete one B and one C. So at minimum, at least two deletions are needed. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation section where I'll be talking about the algorithm to go about it. So let's get started. Let me just start the slideshow and take a pen. Lead code 1647, minimum deletions to make characters frequency unique. It's a medium level question on lead code. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded both the links are stated below. It can be with respect to anything, referrals, placements, job opportunities, and I'll be more than happy to assist all of you there. Now let's get back to the example. Here we have three A's, three B's, and two C's. So we'll be devising the algorithm while iterating over this test case. And the first, the foremost thing that you should be doing is to create the frequency map. This is what I have exactly done here. So we have two C's, three A's and three B's. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a set that will store all the unique frequencies that exist in my input string. So let's get started. And what, what I'll be doing, I'll be iterating over this frequency array. So the first element that I will witness would be A and uh, the value that I have happens to be three. I check whether three frequency exists in my set or not. It doesn't exist in my set. As a result of which, it's a happy case. I'll be adding three to my set. And let's proceed ahead. That means this is safe to be added as part of our unique frequencies. The next element that I have happens to be B. And at B, the frequency is three. I again check whether three exists in my unique frequency set or not. It does exist. That means it's a conflicting case. And whenever you see a conflicting case, that means all these three B's can't be considered as part of your unique frequency set. You have to make some reduction. So let's create the deletion count variable. So it will store the number of deletions to be done in our final output string. And the initial, it is initialized to zero. Since deletions are to be done, what do we do? We simply delete one B character from our input string. So one B is gone. It could be any of the three B's, uh, anyone out of the three B's. So since we are deleting one B character, so let's update the deletion count to one and the frequency of B gets updated to two. And again, we are going to check whether two exist as part of our set or not. Two doesn't exist. That means it's a happy case. So we go ahead and add two to our set. Now our set has two kind of types of frequencies, three and two. Let's proceed ahead. The next frequency that we have in our frequency map is Two. So let's check whether 2 is part of our unique frequency set or not. 2 already is part of our unique entries, unique frequency set. Therefore, we have to make some deletion. And we will be reducing the frequency of C and we will be deleting 1 C out of our input string. The updated frequency gets set to 1 and again we will check whether 1 is part of our unique frequency set or not. It is not part of the unique frequency set. Therefore, it can be easily inserted into it. The total deletions that we did turns out to be B and C and the count gets updated to 2. That gives us the desired result. That simply means that we had to delete one character of type B and other character of type C in order to make this input string 
have unique frequencies overall let's take one more example so that you guys get a good hold of the concept so we have the input string as c e a b a a c b so the first and the foremost thing that i have done is to create the frequency map and let's create the set as per the previous example the first element that we see happens to be a and a has a frequency 3 does 3 exist in my set it doesn't exist so we are it's a happy case we go ahead and add 3 to it let's proceed ahead the next element that we have is b so b has a frequency 2 is 2 part of my unique frequency set it is not part of my unique frequency so we go ahead and add 2 to it let's proceed ahead next we see is c c has a frequency 2 2 is already present as part of my unique frequency set therefore we have to make some deletion so we will be deleting one C character. So one C character is gone. The frequency gets updated to one. We check whether one is part of this unique frequency set. It is not part. So therefore we are going to add one to it. So far, so good. Let's proceed ahead. The next frequency that is left is as of E and E has a value one. We check whether one is part of our unique frequency set. It is part of our unique frequency set. Therefore we have to make some deletion. As a result of which E character gets deleted is to be deleted and the frequency gets updated to zero since it has been updated to zero uh, that means we have completely lost the identity of e it doesn't make sense to add it into our set in total how many deletions did we do we did we did two deletions and uh, the final set that we have had three two one as our unique frequency values now in order to complete it up let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i've just talked here i've created a deletion variable that will actually store my result moving ahead i've created the frequency map and i've also created a set that will store all the unique frequencies i iterate over my frequency map and check whether the value uh, is greater than zero till the time it's greater than zero and my frequency map contains the count value if it does contain the count value that means we have to do some deletion and we have to correspondingly reduce the frequency count this is what i have done here till the time this loop continues the deletion variable gets incremented and count variable gets decremented once i'm out of this while loop i simply add unique frequencies or uh, count to unique frequency set once i'm done with this for loop i simply return the deletion variable so let's try this up accepted 50 percent faster which is pretty good i am also connected to vpn that may be the reason for uh, the latency and with this we have successfully completed day 28th of june lead code challenge and guys please don't forget to check out coding decoded sd revision sheet if you have an important interview planned very soon and you don't need to know how to revise in the most crucial concepts that are asked in interviews for example dynamic programming graph trace binary search backtracking bit manipulation monotonic stacks lighting window matrices sets then this playlist is for you what do you need to do you need to check out uh, these these google sheets and here you will find uh, that the problems are listed in increasing order of difficulty starting from easy medium and hard and uh, i have provided video solutions for each one of them and the interesting part is the template that you will find in some of the playlists for example monotonic stack tries uh, backtracking so the first one that you will see is the uh, template which is highlighted over here and once you will go through this video uh, you will you will see that in the rest of the questions the same template gets applied so do give do give this these sheets a shot and i promise after you will go through them these concepts will be on your tips. The hard work is all yours. I can only be the catalyst and I wish you all the very best in this journey of yours. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and all the links are stated below. So do check them out.